Hi, I'm Jeremiah Zimmer. I'm Jude LaRose with Hot Butcher for the World out of Chicago, Illinois. And we're here with your craft beer and brewing tip of the week. Throughout this entire course, we've mentioned a lot about rubbing and experiencing what different lots of hops do. Let's dive into how we actually rub hops. This is way more than we need to rub. Typically, even when we're a group of, say, four or five of us rubbing at once, we only need maybe an ounce or so. But a glass full of hops is fun, exciting, and I think sexy. What we do, I'll give some to Jude first. Let's take just a few pellets. You don't need to measure it out, just take a couple pellets. Just a couple pellets. And you're gonna kind of pinch the pellets. And the first thing that I like to note when we're rubbing is the composition of the pellet. They're all relatively small, but not all hop and hop pellets are soft or oily. So the first thing that I like to experience is how soft are these hops? How well are they gonna break up and kind of spread out inside of our tanks. But mostly, you know, we're pinching these with our fingers here and trying to basically turn them back into hop dust. How long is it gonna take me to get it to a point where I feel good about rubbing? In general, the cliff notes on this is you turn it into dust, heat it up a little bit with your body heat through your fingers and hands, and then kind of mash it into your palm. You're gonna make a mess. We almost always do this outside and or inside over a trash can. And we're selecting, we're doing this with whole leaf hops and not pellets, in which case you're still kind of smashing it and breaking those hop cones apart, but obviously you're not really squashing pellets. Looking for the same things though. How oily is that specific lot? How soft is it, which is usually the oils? What do you smell before, during, and after? You kind of smash these things up. But you can see in my palm here, you know, most of it is dust. You can kind of move it around. You can kind of use your other thumb to smash it in your palm. You know, breathe, kind of take a step back, maybe clear your sinuses, your nose. Sometimes I'll give it like, a, I call it the deep whiff, where I, I might make mental notes or pause and take notes on a, on a notepad or a computer, what I'm sensing. What do I smell first? What do I smell later? And then take a really deep whiff and fill my lungs with everything that I can smell taking very careful time to not breathe the actual hops in. Does that deep whiff experience, do I experience anything different on that deep whiff than I did maybe on a short whiff? Yeah. It's nice to smell them from afar, to not get in too deep too quickly. So just to kind of start acclimating to what the aromas are, you know, just start forming some kind of like thin slice opinions, but just, you know, yes or no. Don't go in with expectations, but at the same time, be aware of kind of what you're looking for, depending on what hop you're, you're evaluating. But kind of starting farther away and then kind of de getting a little closer, maybe taking quicker, shorter inhales and kind of just acclimating. Be careful not to inhale because it's very uncomfortable to get hop dust in your nose and down your throat. They don't taste good either. And then just kind of take a big, deep inhale. So we're cheating a little bit because we know what this lot is, does, because we've used it and we've been using it for over a year now. This is the lot of mosaic that we selected to kind of be our workhorse mosaic. So a lot of those descriptors that we mentioned earlier on in the class are what I perceive from this. You're getting a little bit of clean, a little bit of dank. You're getting kind of that fun, funky blueberry, but not in an overpowering way. There's, there's also something to be said about like general hop smell. You know, like even hops that smell herbal or grassy versus tropical or clean or bright citrus, they have a certain baseline of hop smell, which for most any brewer is always really exciting thing to smell when you walk in a brewery. To learn more about how we think about and use hops, click the link below.